Tonight, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints making the decision to move all missionaries out of Ukraine over safety concerns. ABC 4's Lena Takata has more on the church's announcement. Lena. A spokesperson for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints says the decision was made with an abundance of caution as some government embassies are preparing to move certain personnel and their families out of the region. Chris Williams from Ogden is the father of Elder Douglas Williams who is currently serving a mission in Moldova, a country that borders Ukraine. Elder Williams is not one of the missionaries being transferred. The church says that they're far enough away from the potential invasion. But is helping welcome the missionaries being transferred out of Ukraine into Moldova. He said about eight, including the mission president, are going to be coming, coming and arriving. He was out helping them find apartments all day on on Monday. Many of the missionaries are being reassigned to other countries in Europe, and a few missionaries approaching their planned release date are completing their missionary service and returning home. I believe that he's doing a lot of good for people there, and that all of the missionaries do. And the fact that they can't do that anymore just it, yeah, it's, it mainly makes me sad. This comes after the State Department issued an advisory on Sunday warning people not to travel to Ukraine due to the increased threats of Russian military action and COVID-19. Uh, the worst part has been the buildup for the last several months, you know, knowing that the Russians were gathering troops. And then when the Nepper mission missionaries got moved around Christmas time, he started to get pretty concerned. Williams himself served the mission in Ukraine and says he has been paying attention to what's been happening in Ukraine for the last several years. Seeing my mission get taken over and now the possibility of the rest of the country being taken over as well. Just, it, it seems so senseless. And says he hopes for a peaceful resolution. I don't want there to be any more bloodshed. I, I just, I wish it were over. I wish that everyone could continue doing what they normally do in peaceful times without interference. U.S. intelligence officials say they have information indicating Russia is preparing for a false flag operation in eastern Ukraine to create a pretext for an invasion. Russia is denying these allegations. In the newsroom, Lena Takata, ABC4 News.